myself prateek one of the instructor of machine learning course i am going to discuss about the details of lab sessions conducted for this course this machine learning course with code uml501 is in fifth semester of be computer engineering students with ltp of 302 we have weekly one lab of 2 hours for each group in this course we normally start our labs by explaining the students about the applications of machine learning then we define the machine learning we discussed about various types of machine learning like supervised unsupervised and reinforcement learning then we start with python we discussed its main features its important data types like list tuple set and dictionary different assignments are given to students so that they can get expertise on these data types we discuss the techniques of data preprocessing we train them on different data sets so that they can handle nominal attributes by using label encoding and one hot encoding and we also train them how to perform scaling of data by using normalization and standardization then we start with simple linear regression in this they have to apply simple linear regression to predict the stipend of the researcher based on their research experience or to predict the house price on the basis of plot size the students were trained to perform visualization of different data sets so that they can understand and appreciate the working of simple linear regression algorithm then we extend this discussion to multiple linear regression by considering case studies like prediction of house price by considering multiple parameters this time like plot size flooring neighborhood etc we also consider a data set to predict the profit of the company on the basis of various parameters like its location the amount the company spent on r&d advertisement and so on this is one such kind of data set where the student has to predict the profit of the company on the basis of its r&d spend administration marketing spend and state same way they are trained on polynomial linear regression by considering a data set like prediction of salary on the basis of the rank uh, because this data set behave in a polynomial form then we started our discussion on classification and one by one the students are trained on classification algorithm like logistic regression decision tree random forest naive base knn svm for linear data and svm kernel for handling non linear data so the students trained on all these classification algorithms and and normally to explain the basics of these algorithm we take a single data set and apply all classification algorithms on the data set for example we consider the data set of customer purchase where we have to predict whether the customer is going to purchase the product or not on the basis of gender age estimated salary etc the student learn how to perform pre processing and apply different classification algorithms over this data set in the end we also explain them meaning the working principle by using visualization so they were trained to perform the visualization for decision tree naive base and knn visualization for logistic regression linear svm and non linear svm the the objective of these visualization is is to appreciate and understand the working principle of these classifiers then we train them to build their own artificial neural network we train them to perform various steps like installation of keras pre processing of data and then they trained on how to initialize their artificial neural network procedure we explain the procedure and code to add input layer and hidden layers adding of output layer how to perform compilation of their artificial neural network we explain them how to fit the artificial neural network on the training data set and then we explain how to make predictions and evaluate the model for this we commonly use customer churn data set where they have to predict whether the customer is going to exit from the bank or not based on his or her various input attributes so student pre process this data set and then built artificial neural network and they also compare the output of ann with other traditional machine learning algorithms to appreciate 
the accuracy and working principle of ANN in more detail. Then we start with the clustering. This here we start with k-mean algorithm. We took a data set to explain the clustering or grouping of customers based on their gender, age, annual income and spending score. They also understand how to identify the value of k by using elbow method. They perform various experiment to identify the appropriate value of k. And then they perform visualization of the data set to identify different customers. They also train how to interpret this data set. In the final section, they are trained on finding the association mining rules. We took a simple transaction data set from any store. Then we trained them how to convert this data set into transactions and they used a priori algorithms to find interesting association mining rules. Through these experiments, students learn all these concepts one by one. We encourage them to look for different problem statements by using public data sets available on Kaggle or UCI machine learning repository or data.gov.in. This portal carries various public data sets of Indian government. We also introduce them with World Bank open data sets, data.world. So from these resources, students extract relevant data set and apply various machine learning algorithms. Students also have to work on a mini project. We encourage them to identify their own problem statements and to apply all learnings on identified problem statements. They have to apply various machine learning algorithms on selected data sets. They have to demonstrate the skills like classification, clustering and association mining that they learn from this course. The idea of this mini project is to comprehend, compare and analyze the results for taking appropriate decisions. Normally this project is conducted in a group of two to three students. This course provides the foundation for advanced courses like data science, deep learning, data analytics and visualization etc. Thanks.